What's up, my fellow citizens of YouTube? I'm Citizen Kev. I'm Citizen Rissa. And today we're going to have a little story time of why our clients left us and why yours may leave you too. All right, so I know it's a dramatic title, but honestly, whenever you're a business owner, it feels very dramatic. Every time you have that client who leaves you, every time you know that they left you for whatever reason, it kind of feels like a personal thing. I mean, it's business, so you want to not take it personal, but you have to keep in mind, every person who leaves, that's less money in your pocket. So today, we just kind of wanted to talk about some of the reasons why our clients left us and then why some of your clients may end up leaving you. I'm ready for this. All right, let's get into it. Some of these are very heavy hitters, but they're real. Um, none of the fluff. These are very real reasons of why we uh, lost some of our clients whenever we first opened our business. And once we started, we already had a client base. One of our clients though left because they found out that we we're black, African-American, people of color. So yeah, that was so crazy. Uh, we found out via uh, one of our current clients, they basically let us know that the other client left because we're black. And I was like, oh wow, <laughs> we really, we're deep into this. This is something completely crazy. Like who would have ever expected that? We know racism is alive and you know, it's a real thing, but to actually experience it um, in a business sense was actually really crazy. Yeah, I mean, I think it was shocking for me a little bit just because I think because it happened so soon. Yeah, I mean, I was <laughs> like, oh wow, I forgot that I was black. Yeah, so I was just like, oh. Yeah, I think it was shocking because it happened so soon, but at the same time, it's not super shocking. Yeah. Like, you know, We're Texas, it's not girl. something that is ever going away. Right, yeah, I mean, it's a real thing. Mm -hmm. It's just a reminder. I think not being a corporate anymore. Uh, both of us came from a corporate space initially, and I think that kind of shields you and kind of warps your mind yeah, of how the real world can operate. Yeah. Um, but we had a very uh, <laughs> <laughs> humbling experience, humbling experience <laughs> and a real reminder of like, hey, this world is, it, it's, it's a real thing, and the things that we hear about do happen. It happens to people and it happens to us. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't happen to you, but don't be shocked if it does. And if it does, you just keep it moving. Just keep moving. You don't let it stop moving. you. keep it moving. You don't get upset. You yeah. don't call them and give your peace of mind. Right. Like, it's really not yeah, even no, worth, we didn't. It's not, it's not worth, worth it. your time. Yep. Uh, you just you just push through. Because yeah. at the end of the day, we have clients who are well aware yes. <laughs> of our skin tone <laughs> yeah. and they don't look they like love us. They love us, right. Um, and they, yeah, they love us and they appreciate us. And so you rock with the people who rock with you. Right. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's, that's that. Yeah. The other really big shocking one was we had another client who had left um, simply because Susan Rissa is straight. Big shocker. She's married oh, to me wow. and we're expecting our second child. But they left because she's straight. That one was another shocker. Not as shocking as the black one, I think, but it was still a really big shocker. Who would have guessed that someone would leave? This is without us even really being able to show our value, show our worth. Um, they didn't put us to the fire and we failed or anything like that. It was simply like, hey, are they, you know, are they gay? No? Okay. Like two days later, gone. So it was just, uh. On that one, I can understand uh, wanting to work with someone that you feel like maybe understands certain things about you. Yeah, yeah, and so I can definitely understand from that standpoint, feeling like you want to work with someone who um, you don't have to maybe explain certain things to. But again, it was like in the very beginning. In the very beginning. And I we hadn't even talked to that person. Right. And, it it know, was kind of strange, y'all. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, well, we hadn't talked to that person yet. Yeah. We hadn't really gotten to show our value or... You know, just even see if maybe we got along at all. At all. <laughs> we might have gotten along. <laughs> I mean, great. We're, yeah, we have clients. We have a lot of clients who are gay, and we get along perfectly fine with them. Oh, we love them. And yeah, and they love us. Now, keep in mind, y'all, we own an insurance agency. So what we're doing is very contractual, very black and white. So there's really no, in some ways, you almost don't even really have to view some of those things. Some of those things are a non-issue. Um, it's very, hey, can you take care of this piece? Am I properly covered? Am I taken care of? We're there to take care of our clients, but when it comes to how they live their lives, 
hey, you do you, we're gonna do us. Um, so we're that's what, take care of you. and we're going to take care of you. And that's what kind of threw us off was because the nature of our business is not something that really you need to nurture someone. You just make sure that you're protecting them properly. Now I just gave you two really outrageous reasons and things that were completely in some ways out of our control. So those are two reasons that were just completely out of our control and really we had nothing to do with it. But I'm about to give you some of the things that we did that did cause our clients to leave. One of the things that we did, we were not timely. So we didn't move quick enough on some of our clients' needs at the beginning because one was due to our staffing not being properly trained, um, not us not having an emphasis on the need for timeliness, and then also just um, not having the proper system or the proper approach to getting things knocked out in a timely manner. How, how do you feel about that? We're not timely. I mean, we? Yeah, so we, because we're a unit, we're together, girl, we're in this oh, together. Oh, okay. So, okay. We, so, we, <laughs> me. No, sometimes, no, no, we sometimes we, most of the time it's, <laughs> it depends on what it is. So actually, no, it really depends right. on what it is. No, no, yeah. you're right, you're right. Um, yeah, I think, especially when you're starting out in the very beginning, there's so many things you have to just put your arm around. So right. it's easy for certain things to get lost in the sauce. Right. And you just have to be very... Vigilant. Vigilant and very organized yeah. about your priorities. Um, and honestly, if it's getting to the point where you can't keep up, you have a good problem. You need right. to go find somebody right. <laughs> who can help you do those things or you're going to miss out right. on some And good someone because we had staff um, yeah. who just did not, yeah, that, and that's going to be our other video. If you want to hear about staffing. that video. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Comment below. We got we, stories. We have so many stories, y'all. We have so <laughs> many. And things that we don't want y'all to go through, honestly, if, if you can avoid it. But um, yeah, so had staff and unfortunately that this individual, like, and we had a couple individuals, um, they fell through the cracks. And that was one of those big identifiers uh, that we were able to use when it came to letting this employee go, knowing that certain things just weren't getting done. Um, unfortunately, that employee is no longer here, but we had to basically deal with the repercussions of losing people. I'll say one good piece of advice when it comes to being timely whenever you're interacting with clients or interacting with um, maybe future partners. If there's something that you need to get back to them on, always make sure you ask them, when can I get back to you? Yes. Can I get back to you in a few days? Can I get back to you soon? So that way you're setting the expectations right. because timeliness means is, something different. It's means relative. something yeah. different yeah. to everybody. That's Some true. people being timely means that you call me back in an hour. Some people mean, you know, if I don't hear back from you that same day, then I'm right. like super upset. Right. I think most people would like to get back, Remember hear back from people. Days, like 72 hours? Yeah, 72 Preferably hours. Um, really no longer than that. Yeah. Then they're kind of calling you up. Yeah, which you don't want. You would prefer to be on top of things. Honestly. You want to be on top of things. You want to always um, under promise and, and over deliver, over -deliver yeah. yes. <laughs> when it comes to interacting with clients. So I would say that's a good tip. If you're interacting with clients, make sure that you're setting the expectations before you get off the phone so right. that way both of you have an idea of how long right. you know things should take that's a really good point so i think the last one that i want to talk about today and i mean there's tons of reasons why you can lose people but i'm just talking more so about the reasons why we lost people um was honestly they got priced out so what do i mean by that so with our business and our business model we write and have a contract with a specific company and we use them for our underwriting so they set the rates, we market and provide the product and kind of help service um, you know, all of our clients. So unfortunately, due to the company that we were underwriting with, uh, some of our clients just could not afford to stay with us. So they had to leave. We did what we could to try to make sure that they, you know, to try to get them to stay. You never want to just make it seem or be nonchalant about your clients leaving, whether they're a bad client because there are bad clients hopefully you're not a bad client but there are bad clients or if it's just something that's completely out of your control like you you still want to have care because you never know how them leaving or whenever they leave how you treat them can really kind of 
make or break just the relationship and your reputation, honestly. Let's just say they were really rude to you, but you were still, you remained uh, professional and calm as they left and you parted your ways peaceably with them. That's going to stick it or hopefully stick in their mind later whenever it comes to maybe if they have to come back to you or if they're thinking about how they're treated with another company, they may remember, oh, you know what? Even though I was rude to them, they were still good to me. I should probably go back. Um, and it's up to you if you take them back or not. We have had clients in the past where we suggested that they no longer do business with us. We basically broke up with them because of their interactions and how they treated our staff or how they tried, you know, tried to treat us. It's okay to have standards. Yeah, that's a really good point. So whenever someone leaves, I would say as a business owner, think to yourself, is that someone that I would want to come back or is that someone that I'm like, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Lord. <laughs> thank you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Lord. They are out of here. Yes. You know? And if that's someone that you're someone open else. to them coming back, make sure to keep them in a separate list right. where you're contacting them a few months later. Yes. Hey, how's it going? Just wanted to check in, see how things are going. Because right. the way our business works is a lot of times people get enticed by the low rates, the low prices, right. and then they get in there and then certain things change. Yes. <laughs> Last magically minute, change. magically right. change. And then they're like, oh, wow, I yeah, should have <laughs> stayed where I was at. Right. So you want to make sure that if someone's leaving, it's not always goodbye forever. Right. It just may be so long for now, maybe. So long for now or see you later. So right. just keep that attitude in your head if people do leave. Because a lot of times if they are leaving because of pricing, they like you. Right. It's just at the time, just can't it's just it. out of their budget. Right. And we know right now. It's expensive. Yeah. Life. Insurance life is and just life. everything in general. Yeah, life. Yeah, that's true. Not even just insurance. Just life is expensive. Y'all right? no. know how much your pocketbooks are filling right now. <laughs> so we understand because we pay bills too. Right. So we're very yeah. aware of how things, how much more things are than what they right. used to be even a year ago. So just keep that in mind whenever people leave because it can feel personal. Right. And, but um, see you later. Yeah. Or if they're a bad client, Never again. Good, good Goodbye. Riddance. Yeah, good riddance. Because a bad client can actually be dangerous for your business yes. too. All money is not good money. Yeah. And that's a video that we can do separately too. Um, but yeah, if, if you have the power to choose your clients, make sure that you're choosing wisely because having the wrong client can be detrimental to your business. But I just want to say thank you for tuning in. Please comment, like, subscribe, um, share with your friends if this was valuable information for you or if you know of someone who's going to be starting their own business. As always, don't forget to do good, be good, feel good. We'll catch you later.